Mitundu Community Hospital is a very busy facility, especially maternity ward. On average, you are supposed to have four qualified midwives a shift, but in most cases, we do have two or one. In midwifery, there is empowerment. And it feels good when you see a woman coming, crying, crying, then after delivery, you are all happy, she goes home. There are so many challenges that we face. Inadequate funding, infrastructure is safe. We even sometimes conduct deliveries on the floor. And also referral systems. We only have one ambulance. If that ambulance is uh, taking another patient, this one who needs agent uh, referral will have to wait. They pay it safe is also hindering midwifery. So we find a lot of midwives that are moving to NGOs. For us to earn a living, we need to do some kind of uh, a backup strategy. Some have small scale businesses, like tax shops. I farm some groundnuts so that uh, when I sell, I should add up on my salary. Because as midwives, we get little salaries. To influence policy, we need to work as a team. We need to advocate for the midwifery services. We need to build partnerships, networking globally as well as locally. We need to be in the forefront of the midwifery profession. I will advocate for strong midwifery association so that when we talk to the political leaders, talking to those influential people, those policy makers, we need this because of this evidence. I call on the government of Malawi to strengthen, to strengthen the midwifery education, putting in place initiatives that to help retain the midwives in terms of transportation, in terms of maybe good houses, a good amount of money, so that they should feel motivated. Government should also ensure more funding for the midwifery services and also recognize midwifery as a profession on its own. So we need the good regulation for the midwifery profession, whether in public or private sector. We need more midwives in order to provide comprehensive, respectful maternity care. We need to put the rights, health care of women on the forefront. Women do not only carry water, they also carry the families, the community. So we need to take care of them very well. We midwives who are there for the society, who are there for the community, for the women, um, family members, husbands, they are in the community. So I can say united we stand, divided we fall. So as midwives we have to be united, say one voice, and put the well-being of the mother and the baby on our, at our heart. Advocate for a sufficient midwives and sufficient material resources in the labor world. I advocated that a midwife should be allocated every day in the waiting home to give health talks to the mothers on the effects of using local pedicine. And now we have reduced the cases of ruptured uteruses by half. In a district hospital, you think you need to be there when they are budgeting. Invite yourself with facts and say, I know you are budgeting, I have these facts, can you consider them? I advocated for uh, a youth club to donate blood that saved a 17-year-old uh, woman who lost blood after delivery. So every time you highlight the uh, inequalities, it, it makes the system to jack up and see how best they can do things better. We've managed to at least reduce by half the neonatal deaths that we used to have from 2013 to 2015. Advocacy is a skill that you have to learn.